<coughs> Hello everyone. Is there any sound coming? Namaste. Welcome to the first Yoga Veda Yoga class. Now, this is the first class I'm doing, so I don't know how it is on your end. I'll find it out later on how, how the camera is going, how everything else is going. In these coronavirus times, when everything is shut down, I think it's a great idea that people have their yoga classes because there is nothing else going on. What in terms of yoga around in Bern. This is the first class, but this is a twisting class, as I mentioned in the mail. The class will be around one hour. And I'll be not using any props, as little as possible. All you would need is a mat and two bricks if you have. If you wouldn't have bricks, just take a blanket. I'll try to keep it as simple as possible. And then later on, give me a feedback how it went. With all that said, let's start the class. Take a yoga mat, take two bricks to sit on. <clears throat> now, if you don't have any, you can just do it on the floor also. That works absolutely fine. As I understand, we are joined by people around Switzerland and around the world also, which is a very nice thing. And of course, my lovely students. Take two bricks to sit on or take a blanket to sit on. It works absolutely fine. Once you have established yourself in your place, stretch your legs out straight in front. <clears throat> stretch your knees out, push your heels out. Take your right leg under the left shin, left leg under the right shin. Sit evenly on both the buttock bones. Place your palms behind, move your hips forward, lift your chest, roll your shoulders back, pull your shoulders down so you feel that your neck gets long behind. Join your palms together, look straight, don't look down, and close your eyes. Relax your eyes. <clears throat> Relax the muscles of the face. Relax your shoulders. Sit evenly on the buttock bones. Center your spine, lift your chest, take a deep inhalation for the ones who know it, you know you can repeat with me.
योगे न चित पदे न वाचम मल शरीर से वैद्यक योपाकोत्तम प्रवर मुनीन पतंजलि प्राजलिरान तोस्मी आबाहो पुषा शंकचक्रासीधारिण सहस्रशिस श्वेत प्रणमा पतंजलि हरि टेक द हेड डाउन प्लेस द पाम्स ऑन द नीज take the head up i'll just take a quick look if everything is functioning correctly <coughs> it looks like <coughs> now stand with your legs apart a little more than your hips each time you're going down you're holding and doing it for five deep breaths and coming up focus on opening your hip now opening your hip means when you move your arms out your hip joint should open more it should release your hips stretching your knees move back bend your knees stretch your back out first and then sit down now if you cannot sit like this if your heels are lifting up take a blanket and place it under your heels for the ones who know it for the ones who are doing it the first time take a blanket under your heels feel the muscles below your navel pull them in lift your lower back lift your chest take your arms down now move those legs away from the hip deep breathing when you're having deep breathing see that you can listen to your breath because then you know you're having deep breathing lift your hips come up halfway roll your spine and come up stretch your legs stretch your back stretch your arms <clears throat> and then come down to you're doing it five times first stretching your knees move your hips back bend your knees stretch your back out and sit down lift your lower back lift your chest and then open your hips breathe lift your hips come up halfway <clears throat> roll your spine and come up stretch your legs stretch your spine stretch your arms and three knees back bend your knees stretch your back out and sit down lift your lower back lift your chest <clears throat> take your arms down open your hips deep active breathing five breaths
and lift your hips, <coughs> come up halfway, roll your spine and come up, stretch your legs, this time stretch your navel, stretch your arms, and come down. <coughs> now this is the fourth time, knees back, bend your knees, stretch your back out and sit down. Lift your lower back, lift your chest, open your hips, hip joint should open. <clears throat> Listen to your breath. And lift your hips, come up halfway, roll your spine and come up, stretch your legs, stretch your navel, stretch your arms, and come down five. Knees back, bend your knees, stretch your back out and sit down. <clears throat> lift your lower back, lift your chest. The lift should always come from your sacral back. If you're only working from the chest, your back gets scrubbed. So first from the sacral lumbar spine, and then the chest. Open your hips, breathe. Lift your hips, come up halfway and roll your spine and come up. Stretch your legs, stretch your navel, stretch your back, stretch your arms. Take your arms down. Now stand with your legs together. Now there is a slight difference in what you usually do because I've altered the class slightly to fit in what you're doing and to fit it in one hour because I don't want such a one and a half hour long class at home. It gets too long when there is nobody to correct you. But I'll try to explain as nicely as possible. And if there is anything, always just write comments. I'll read everything and I'll answer it. Hold your palms together. Now first see that you're standing with your toes in the same line. Keep your heels slightly apart. Hold your palms together. Take your arms up. Stretch your legs. Pull actively. Pull your spine up. Stretch your arms. Now each movement you're doing with five deep breaths. Press your legs and your shoulders together and then turn your palms up. When you're turning your palms up, <clears throat> I want you to stretch each joint of your finger. If you don't open your finger joints in your palms, the nerves of your tight palms go in your neck. Stretch your palms, stretch your fingers and look slightly up. Take your arms down. <clears throat> now change the hold of your palms. The ones who are completely new, if you had your right thumb up, change so your left thumb comes up. <clears throat> stretch your legs, pull your spine up, stretch your arms. Take a deep breath. Press your legs and your shoulders together and turn your palms up. Stretch your fingers, stretch your palms, and breathe. Deep breathing. <clears throat> I 
I hope you can hear me breathing because the mic is just under my nose. And take your arms down. <clears throat> You're placing your right thumb under your left. Take your arms up. Stretch your legs. Pull your spine up. <clears throat> stretch your arms and then hold your palms firmly together. Now you can even hold your palms like this or like this. Both work fine. Pull, stretch to the right side. Feel your spine. You should open your spine sideways because those discs of your spine have to release. The nerves should move freely and the discs should have space to breathe. Inhale, come up. Place your left thumb under your right. Take your arms up. <clears throat> stretch your legs. Pull your spine up. Stretch your arms. I'm enjoying this. It's, it's really fun. And Hold your palms together, pull, stretch to the left side and breathe. Feel that opening of the spine. Don't turn your hips as you would stand. Inhale, come up. <clears throat> you're taking your arms back and you're holding your thumbs like this. <clears throat> Once you hold your thumbs, roll your shoulders back, pull your shoulders down. <clears throat> now this shoulder rotation reverses the closed movement of your shoulders in front. When you're pulling your shoulders down, Feel that spine in between your shoulders, that also has to come down. So you feel that release in your neck. <clears throat> Press your legs and your shoulders together. Lift your throat, take your head towards the right shoulder. Feel your side neck muscles, these are very tight. Stretch them. Five deep breaths. Don't take your head back, not that. Take the head up. Now behind, you're changing the hold of your thumbs. If you are holding like this, change it. Once again, roll your shoulders back, pull your shoulders down, press your legs and your shoulders together, <clears throat> lift your throat, take your head towards the left shoulder. Now that same movement, side neck muscles, not down, not back. If you go back, you stretch here. You want that same side neck. Don't lift your shoulder up. <clears throat> Take the head up. Now behind, you're holding your palms firmly. Now you don't have the small strap which you have in the yoga school, but try to make the best out of it. This one, I'll show it from the side. Rolling your shoulders back, pull your shoulders down, press your legs and your shoulders together, take your arms up, stretch forward, pull the muscles of your abdomen in and down. And don't bend your knees.
<coughs> inhale, come up. Move your hips forward. Press your legs and your shoulders together. <coughs> Stretch your throat. Now, in this work, you're working not only to stretch your throat, but your thyroids and your parathyroids. Open them so the hormones flow freely. And again, five breaths. Take the head up. Same, you're holding the grip of your palms. <clears throat> Once again, roll your shoulders back, pull your shoulders down, press your legs and your shoulders together, take your arms up, stretch forward, pull your thighs up and down. Inhale, come up, <clears throat> move your hips forward, <clears throat> stretch your throat, take the head up. <clears throat> now behind, once again, you're changing the hold of the palms. I'll quickly take a look if everything is functioning. <clears throat> Change the hold of your palms. Roll your shoulders back. Pull your shoulders down. <clears throat> now you are lifting your arms up. At the same time, Try to open your eyes as much as you can. <clears throat> Roll, pull, inhale and stretch the muscles of your eyes. Open your eyes. Exhale, arms down. Inhale. Open your eyes, exhale, inhale, open your eyes, exhale, inhale, open your eyes, exhale. Inhale, open your eyes. Now I'll turn around and show it from behind. Take your left arm close to your right hip. Hold your right elbow. <clears throat> With your right hand, hold your left elbow. Just close the window, it's very noisy. Looks like there is a fire somewhere. <clears throat> Release. Change the hold of your palms. Same. Roll your shoulders back. Pull your shoulders down. Press your legs and your shoulders together. Inhale, open your eyes. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale, inhale. <clears throat> Try to open your eyes and lift your arms as much as you can with a very deep inhalation. Exhale, inhale, and take your right arm close to the left hip. Hold your left elbow with your left hand. Hold your right elbow. Five breaths. And release. <clears throat> Now take your right elbow out, hold your elbow, take it close to your face. Take your arm back or take your elbow back. See that the elbow goes behind your ear first because you cannot work from here. Take the elbow behind your ear, place the palm on your upper back. Take your left hand close to the right hip. Hold your fingers. Lift your chest. From your middle spine, stretch your spine back. Open your diaphragm. Open the space of your breath. come up. Same, take your left elbow out. Take it close to the face. Take your elbow back behind your ear. <clears throat> Place the palm on your upper back. Now take your right arm close to the left hip first down. So the arm first goes down and then hold. Lift your chest, from your middle spine stretch back. Again, deep breathing, five breaths. Inhale, come up. You're placing your hands on your hips, pulling your knees up because you don't want to turn from your knees. The knee joints should be firm. You don't want that clutching of your knees. Knees back, stretch forward. Now feel your lower rib cage. That space should go in. Come down, pulling your thighs up. Now you're coming down halfway. Your body angle is 90 degrees. Turn your back and your spine to the right side. Come back in the middle. Turn your back and your spine to the left side. back in the middle, <clears throat> stretch forward, come down, place the palms on the floor and with your fingers move to the right side. Now try to move as much as you can so your head comes in that same line as your heel. Come back in the middle and turn to the left side.
five deep breaths. And come back in the middle. <clears throat> Press the palms on the floor. <clears throat> now, if you don't have bricks, use your fingertips today <clears throat> because you're not doing the handstand later on. And then lift your heels up. Place your heels down, stretch your arms out, pull your thighs up, inhale and come up, stretch your legs, stretch your spine, stretch your arms, take your arms down, stand straight, breathe, stand on your heels. And release. <clears throat> now this week, as I mentioned, we are doing the twisting postures. And twistings are very good to make your spine alive. <clears throat> as we get older, the spine gets hard, the discs get hard, and the mobility of our body gets less. So we'll be working to Twist the body. First, I want you, I'll change the position of the mat now so it is straight. And then I'll show you. <clears throat> Just watch me. <clears throat> I won't say come close and watch. Now you're doing it with bent knees. Hold your knees, pull your knees in your abdomen, stretch your arms on the side, turn your back. Now try to take your knees as close to your right elbow as you can. Pulling your knees in your abdomen, Now, if you got it, now most of you who come to the class know it. The ones who are doing it for the first time, be on the floor or on your mat. Take your knees close to you. Feel the muscles below your navel. Pull them in. Turn right. Touch your elbow. Turn left. The audio was off. I hope you can hear me now. And come up. Now again, I'll change the position of the mat. You're standing with your legs apart. 
<coughs> somehow like this. Now, if you have your mat, it is very easy. You know your measurements. But if you don't have a mat, something like this. Stretching forward, you're placing your palms on the floor. With your left hand, you're holding your right foot. Feel your lower back. Turn it completely. <clears throat> Down. And change. <clears throat> Let just do it once as I did. I assume you have done it once. <clears throat> you will do the same movement very quickly with deep breathing. Now again, I'll show it once. Just watch. <clears throat> You're counting. 20 breaths. <clears throat> now, you will start now. I'll count 20 breaths. Take yourself in the position and start with your <clears throat> left hand close to your right leg and then change quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, <clears throat> thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20 and stand with your legs together. <clears throat> Shoulders back, breathe. <clears throat> I hope you're enjoying the class. I am. Now this week, as I said, we are doing twisting postures. And as I sent in the mail, we are doing twisting postures with the focus of your lower rib cage. Now your lower rib cage is when you touch your hip and you move your thumb up. <clears throat> After your hip, you don't have any bones. The first bone you feel, it is there your lower rib cages, obviously. Your twisting today is from that space. Of course, you're turning your leg, you're turning your hips, but I want you to turn your rib cage more because again, if you sit too much, this part of the rib cage goes out. And the more it is out, it creates a disturbance in your lower back and in your neck. Plus, it closes your breath because you're closing your diaphragm. If you have bricks, take them. <clears throat> you can keep the bricks high, you can keep the bricks low. Now, if you're using the yoga mat, it is called the yoga mat <clears throat> because of the lines. You're placing your left foot next to the angle line. You're placing your right foot next to the center line because you want a little space between your legs to get that turn. Now, once you do that, you see that your hip is not centered anymore because you're not standing straight. Your left knee has moved out. It takes the hip with it. The first thing you need to do is try to turn your left knee and face it as much forward as you can. Only the knee, because if the knee turns, the hip will turn. Your thigh bone is connected to the hip. And 
then hold your lower rib cage you're not pushing it forward because that will tense your diaphragm and again it will push your spine out <clears throat> you're pushing your rib cage in and pushing it up so you want to do that to open your lumbar spine and open your diaphragm in and up now see that you don't push your body on your front leg you want to be on your back leg hold your palms together take your arms up stretch back and stretch forward place the hands on the bricks now i'll remove the bricks so you can see what i'm doing stretching your back out again try to feel your lower rib cage pushing it in your turn because you have already turned from your knee and your hip lower rib cage has to move in now and then take your right arm up <clears throat> just see if everything is functioning <clears throat> looks good i hope it is fine in your end also please give me a feedback <clears throat> when you're turning that lower rib cage should give you the turn it come up and then change <clears throat> place your right foot next to the angle line take your left foot forward again turning your knee turn your hip <clears throat> thumbs on the lower rib cage push it in push it up open the space of your navel and your diaphragm hold your palms up stretch back and forward and down lower lower rib cage <clears throat> turn your right knee turn your hip lift your chest and from your lower rib cage get the turn of your upper body not your lower <clears throat> take your arms down inhale come up stand straight breathe <clears throat> no i cannot see what you're doing so i unfortunately cannot say anything and correct you either maybe i'll find a system for that later on but i think this is a good start you're doing it once again take your left foot back take your right foot forward turning your left knee <clears throat> center now this time stretch your arms on the side turn your leg turn your hip try to get your left palm as on top of the center line of the mat as you can and then with a fine movement come down 
feel the ribcage lift and turn from there. Again, have deep breathing. At the same time, stretch your spine forward and rotate your spine. It's a twisting of the spine. <clears throat> Inhale, come up and change. <clears throat> stretch your arms on the side. Rotate your right knee. Get the palm on top of the center line and down. And deep breathing. Now work actively to stretch and turn your spine. Listen to your breath. And inhale, come up. <coughs> Stand in Tadasan, breathe. Five breaths. And now you will need two bricks to sit on or you will need a blanket. I'll give you a moment to adjust and I'll go and open the window. <clears throat> Placing the bricks or your blanket like this, you're sitting slightly away from the floor. You need to sit higher. Stretch your legs out, hold your right foot, take your right knee back, now place the foot so your heel is touching the brick. Hold your knee, pull the muscles of your lower abdomen, now the muscles of your lower abdomen are below the navel, these have to be strong. The muscles above the navel have to be soft because there are your breathing muscles, your diaphragm is there. That space should not get hard, but you have to be firm below the navel. You don't want the support of your lower back to be loose. Holding your knee in, up, abdomen in, up. Take your left arm up. <clears throat> Once again, you're lifting your spine. Feel that space. Lower rib cage in. Turning your abdomen, turning your navel and placing your elbow on the outside of the right knee. Your knee has to push slightly in because you're using your elbow and your knee to rotate your lower back, especially the space of your sacral and the lumbar spine, that is the hard part, of the hard space of the back. Pushing abdomen in, now this time you're looking straight, so your chin is touching your left shoulder. <clears throat> your rest of the spine is moving back, but your head is moving towards the chin. So you have two opposite rotations below your neck and above your neck. Once you're in the posture now, work actively with 
ten breaths. And keep on working, try to rotate. and come back in the middle, make your right leg straight, <clears throat> bend your left knee, the same movement in the opposite direction. First, hold your foot, take your knee back, open your hip joint and then place the foot on the floor. <clears throat> See that your heel is touching the brick. Pull the muscles of your abdomen in and up in and up. Take your right arm up, lift your spine, feel the space below that lower rib cage as we are specifically working on that space today to open the thoracic lumbar spine to straighten out the lower rib cage which moves out and open the space of your diaphragm. Lift in again 10 deep breaths keep on working actively turn 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 chin towards your right shoulder rest of the spine away from it back in the middle, stretch your legs out, breathe, shoulders always rolling back. And now later on, please give me a good feedback if the times between are good for you or if I'm going too fast, going too slow, it's the first time I'm doing it so I have no idea how it is on your end especially the ones who are doing it for the first time. <clears throat> Once again, hold your right foot, take it back, place the foot down, <clears throat> holding your knee, same, feel the muscles below the navel, they have to rotate, rolling it in and up, so that gives you the lift up. Pull your left arm up. Lift the back. Now this time you're turning your head completely back. You're literally pulling your body away from your left upper thigh. You need to move back. You're taking the social distance from your left leg. Because that's what we need to do now, right? back and 10 breaths come back in the middle Change the leg. <clears throat> Hold your left foot and then open your hip joint upwards. It means you need to take your knee backwards. Back. 
and down. <clears throat> Holding your knee, pull the muscles of your abdomen in. Rolling up. <clears throat> Take your right arm up. First, lift your spine. Second, lower ribcage in. And then, pushing your knee in. The head back, that social distance from your leg. <clears throat> work with the muscles of your abdomen. Tighten them and work. And breathe. <clears throat> Deep breathing. And come back in the middle and come up. <clears throat> Stand with your legs together. <clears throat> See that your toes are in the same line. <clears throat> now the ones who were in the class last week, I spoke about the importance of your knees being centered. You don't want your knees <coughs> moving outwards because that disturbs the whole structure of your body. Centering your knees, moving your hip down, take the thumbs below your rib cage, now pushing it in and up. Now see here, I'm not doing it. that space of the navel has to open up. 72,000 nadis flow from the navel. Your energy centers open from there. Lift. And then hold your palms together once and then change the hold of your palms because this is how you would do it naturally. It comes natural to you. Change. Take your arms up. Stretch your legs, pull your spine up, stretch your arms. Now with your lumbar spine, you're stretching back, opening your navel once again. And up, stretch forward now. Try to work on the lower rib cage, pushing it in. <clears throat> Come down in. Uttanasana, relax your neck. <clears throat> now when you're down, look at your knees. So your knees are not rolling out. Work with your knees centered. <clears throat> Work with your knees centered. <clears throat> Breathe, deep breathing. I hope you can listen to the sound of my breath. Inhale, stretch your arms out and come up. <clears throat> Take your arms down, stand in Tadasana, roll your shoulders back. Keep that lower rib cage moving in and up. And release. Now I'll explain Shavasan. You will do Shavasan for five minutes. I'll change the position of the mat. Because Shavasan should reset your body. It should relax your body if you have tensed it in the postures. So you feel your muscles rolling out again or flowing out again. 
first. Don't do, just watch. You, you can do it when I say you to do it. <clears throat> Keep your knees bent. Hold your knees. Pull the muscles of your abdomen in and release your back once. The hip should lift up and open the space of your sacral lumbar spine and then place the feet down. <clears throat> make your right leg straight, make your left leg straight. Rolling your shoulders back, now lift your shoulders up slightly, roll them back and come down. And then let go your legs and your arms, close your eyes. Now go in Shavasan, be there for <clears throat> five minutes and then I'll tell you to come up. Now when you're coming up, you're turning to the right side and then coming up. <clears throat> Lie down in Shavasan, I'll take a time for five minutes now. Relax your body, relax your breath, relax your spine, your nervous system, <coughs> your brain, Now turn to the right side, wait there. And come up. <clears throat> Thank you for attending the class. Now, whatever feedback you have, 
please write it down so I know what is working, what is not working. As I said, when I'm teaching, do you have enough time to go in the postures, come out of the postures? As I said, this is the first time I'm doing it, so I have no idea. But I'll see to it that it's corrected very quickly. If you like the class, you can invite your friends for the next class because the classes are for everybody. People are sitting at home. Everybody would appreciate a nice yoga lesson at home when there is nothing else to do. Share it as much as you can with your friends. Invite them to join the class. And yeah, as I said, just write whatever is working, what is not working, how was the class and everything. Tomorrow, at the same time, we'll start at six, a pranayama class. I don't know, we'll do it maybe for 30 to 40 minutes, something like that. Pranayama and meditation. Because we don't have all the props that we use. You know, you have the bridge and the weights and everything. So I'll remove that part and <coughs> we'll do something else. Thank you very much. And I wish you a nice evening. Be safe.